Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Christina. Today's video is a very exciting video for me. I don't think that I've been this pumped to film a whole lipstick swatch collection in a very long time. The lipsticks that I'm going to be swatching for you guys today are the new L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lasting Matte Liquid Lipsticks or Liquid Inks lip inks, I think. I've seen it several different ways, but basically it's the new L'Oreal liquid lipsticks. And when I tell you right off the bat, they reminded me of my favorite NARS lip pigments, the Power Matte lip pigments. They are so similar and I'm not saying that they're complete dupes. I have not come to that conclusion yet. I haven't worn them all day to compare them exactly to the NARS ones, but right off the bat when I swatched them, when I put them on my lips, they're pretty similar in formula. Now I have all 12 shades right in front of me. Kind of nervous because I think that they do stain a little bit, um, but Still excited either way. These lipsticks retail for $11.99 on L'Oreal's website, Walgreens, and CVS. And I've also seen them for $9.99 on Target and Amazon. But when I bought them at Walgreens, they were buy one, get one 50% off, plus an extra $5 off every $50 purchase. <laughs> so yeah, I got that sale. If you guys don't already, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I am, other than YouTube on social media. And without Without further ado, if you would like to see the swatches, then just keep on watching.
All right, and those were all of the swatches. When I tell you guys that that was difficult to swatch, it was so difficult. I have never been that close to stopping a swatch video because it was staining my lips so incredibly much. But with that being said, the stain was really, really pretty. So I feel like throughout the day, as this wears off, it would wear really evenly and really, really beautifully. I know that in some of the swatches, there was still a little bit of sheen and I do apologize about that. I couldn't really let them dry completely or else they were gonna be stuck on my lips. So let's talk about some of the claims for this product. One of the claims and one of the big ones, the one that really drew me to this product was that it claims to have less texture and more pigment on the lips. I have so many lines on my lips and any lipstick or liquid lipstick, whenever it dries down, I just get those nasty old looking lips and it really drives me insane. But with these, I feel like they really fill in the lines and it's so buildable. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. So these are my lips right now. The lines, the existing lines on my lips just look softer and they don't look super dry. They look insane right now because of all those swatches, but I really like the way that it makes my lips look. Another claim of this product is that it has a lightweight feel and it has the no makeup feel of a stain, but the pigment of a liquid lipstick. And I would say that's pretty true. If you've ever used a lipstick or liquid lip that has like an oil base to it, it almost feels like that. It's almost like a water and an oil and it has like a very slick texture to it. If you let that layer dry and put another layer, it's it's pigmented like this is two layers right here looks amazing i really really love the way it looks and i love the way it feels the first layer i would say you can't feel it almost feels like a stain like they say but the second layer you do kind of feel it i don't know if it's because i swatched all of these shades and my lips are kind of raw right now um but i do feel it but it's not a heavy liquid lipstick it's not drying. I don't know how many times I can say that, but it really isn't. This is a formula that I can see myself wearing all day, and even the bold colors, I feel like I could wear all day and not be worried about it kind of fading away and looking splotchy and weird. In the swatches, you guys are gonna be able to see how much it stains my lips. It almost looks like its own lip color, which is insane. So the applicator on these are like precision applicators, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure Sure that L'Oreal has other lip products that have a similar applicator. It's very, very thin and it's pointed at the tip. I actually kind of like the side of it because I like to use it on my lip, push down and then pull down and kind of create that curve on my Cupid's bow. It says online to use an oil-based remover and guys, I try to use three different removers to get the staining off of my lips because whenever I got halfway through, my lips were getting so stained. It was kind of hilarious. So I started off with my Pharmacy Green Clean um, Makeup Cleansing Balm. And usually I'll use this or just a cleansing balm in general in my swatch videos to get all of the product off and get a good clean wipe off of my lips but it was legit not working. So I went in and tried to use my Neutrogena um, oil-free eye makeup remover. I know it says oil-free, but usually this works really, really well for waterproof makeup. So I thought that maybe it would work well. It barely worked, to be honest. And then I resorted to using my Garnier uh, Micellar Cleansing Water for waterproof makeup. And this one worked pretty well. I think the combination of this with this kind of got the job done. <laughs> I'm not going to say completely though, but then again, I did swatch a ton of the colors. I'm sure you won't have the same difficulty that I did. I like that this formula is buildable. You can put on one even layer and have just a soft stain look to the lips, or you can let that first layer dry and then put on a second layer and have super bold lips. I didn't try to layer on more than two layers because I felt like two was perfectly enough for me. It doesn't smell like their regular lipsticks, which I'm kind of happy about because that scent is not my favorite. And the scent doesn't last, at least not to me. Once I put it on and then it dries completely, 
I can't smell it. It does kind of have a chemical like scent to it. It's like floral and chemical. If scents bother you, I really don't think this one is going to be too irritating because the scent is very, very subtle and it does go away. Also, I think the packaging is very pretty on these. I like that it's frosted. It's not glass. It is plastic, so that's nice. If you drop it, you don't have to worry about breaking it. And then it has almost like a bullet point to it right there with the product. And I like this gold little strip that says L'Oreal Paris on it. Feels really luxe. They're very, very pretty. The top is also matte. I just, I think this is beautiful. I am all about this packaging. Now, as far as my claim earlier about it being a dupe for NARS Lip Power Matte Pigments, I would say they're fairly different. I would say this is a stain to liquid lipstick, whereas the NARS ones are just straight up liquid lipsticks. They're both very lightweight formulas. They are both pretty watery. This one I would say is a little more oil-based. The pigment on these right off the bat are definitely more intense. This is in the shade Don't Stop my favorite red. So this is definitely very watery and pigmented right off the bat. Whereas the L'Oreal ones can get to this pigment, but you just gotta build it up. So this one right here, just as watery, almost as intense, but once this one dries, I would probably layer on another. So that's two layers right there. I would say they're pretty comparable. I feel like both formulas are very, very comfortable on the lips. If you're not willing to spend a ton of money on the NARS lip pigments, I think that these L'Oreal ones are just as good. Overall, I can say that I really, really like these lip products. They feel comfortable. They're not irritating. I can wear these all day if I wanted to. I could even use the same lipstick and get a different look from it. After I finish editing this video for you guys, I will put on the screen my most favorite to my least favorite one so you guys can just get an idea of what I think of them. And I also did want to note that for the darker shades, whenever I swatched them for you guys, they did come off a little more patchy, but honestly, I think that some of that had to do with the fact that I was using so much makeup remover on my lips and I was wiping so much that my lips just like couldn't handle it. If I were to wear these on a regular basis, like if I were just to start my day off, put on a fresh face of makeup, and then put one of the dark lipsticks on, it would definitely wear or look a lot better. And even if it does come off a little patchy, I think that some lip liner would help a ton. All right guys, and that is everything for this video. If you do decide to pick up any of these shades, please let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say as well. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.